Today we're making Antonio's beef medallions with mushroom sauce. And it's nice for a special occasion or, or pretty much any occasion, but um, we'll show you how to make it. Uh, we've already started by adding, um, by melting some butter. And that was two and a half ounces of butter or 65 grams. Okay. And to that we will be adding the onion. So that is one large onion that has been finely chopped. And we're going to go ahead and cook that um, just a little bit. Okay, the onions are nice and soft. And to the onions, we are going to add the garlic and the chili. And we're going to fry that for a few minutes. And that is one garlic clove that has been finely chopped and one red chili pepper. And you can add that to taste if you don't want to add the whole chili pepper, you don't have to. And we just want to cook that for a few minutes until the garlic and the chili becomes tender. Mmm, it smells very good. And we've been making a lot of pasta videos. Um, you know, often people think that Italian food is only pasta. But Antonio has a lot of recipes in his cookbooks that are not just about pasta. A lot more than just spaghetti and meatballs. Okay, and then once that has cooked a little bit, we will add the basil, the chives, and the sage. It's one tablespoon of fresh sage that has been chopped, as well as one tablespoon of basil that has been chopped. Okay, we'll give that a stir and mix this together. So that is going to be the base of our mush mushroom sauce. Um, he says to cook that gently for one minute, and then we will be adding the mushrooms. Okay, I'd say we're about ready for that. Okay, so the recipe calls for 400 grams or 14 ounces of hedgehog mushrooms that have been cleaned and sliced. That is just not something we are able to find around here. We hunted high and low and we couldn't find any. We decided to use some shiitake mushrooms. Which we found. And those weren't easy to find either. Um, I don't know if that is a decent substitute. Um, I guess using just regular mushrooms would be delicious as well. I don't see why it wouldn't be. So we're going to cook the mushrooms and add a little bit of salt to extract the juices from the mushrooms. Now, if you use shiitake mushrooms, you should remove the stems because they are kind of tough. So you want to cut those out. So I'm going to go ahead and add the salt. And we're just going to add some salt to taste. It tastes as good as it smells. We're in good shape. Now again, um, we are supposed to be using hedgehog mushrooms for this. We are using the shiitake. We've actually never used shiitake mushrooms before, so this is a new... Um, taste experience for us, but it's a very good tasting mushroom. It's kind of got a, like an earthy flavor. I don't, I'm not sure. How More so than a normal mushroom, than yeah. like a, you know, a uh, morel or something like that. Yes, definitely, a, or a portobello. It's definitely got an earthy, earthy taste to it. Very okay. good. So now that we have added the stock, we will be frying that for another one to two, two minutes until the mushrooms are completely cooked. And that is going to be our sauce for our beef medallions. And oh my goodness, does this smell good. Okay, so we are ready to add our beef medallions. So what we are using here is um, beef tenderloin. And you are going to cut the beef tenderloin into two ounce portions or two ounce medallions. So what we want to do here is brown them for a few minutes on each side until they are nicely brown. And then from that point, you will basically cook it to your liking. Um, you know, whether you like it well done or medium rare. Or mooing. <laughs> or mooing. <laughs> That's not how I like mine, but... So once you've sliced up your medallions with the, the thinner portions, they will cook fairly quickly. And we will season them again once we flip them over. So you do want to leave your medallions undisturbed cooking until they have a nice uh, brown crust formed at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and flip these over. That one's got a nice crust to it. 
There we go. Bring a little bit of a nice crust to these. Nice. Okay, it looks like our medallions are done. So we're going to go ahead and plate that up. Okay, we're going to be serving that um, with the mushroom sauce on top, as well as some sautéed potatoes, which is what Antonio suggests. Um, if you want to find the recipe to the sautéed potatoes, we do have a short on our channel um, that shows you how to do that with the ingredients listed in the description. And a little bit of green beans, and we're going to do the taste test. All right. Mm -hmm. Mamma mia! All righty. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take a little mushroom and a little steak here, a little medallion. A piece of mushroom. Mmm. That, that is unbelievably tender. Mmm. The mushrooms have a nice little kick to them from the chili. Mmm, that, those medallions are, oh my goodness. Yeah, that is really, mm. really good. The potato is nice and soft on the inside, crispy on the outside. Mm. Delicious flavors. Mm. I can get spoiled eating meals like this. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Once again, Antonio did not let us down. He hit it out of the park. If you're looking for something other than your standard pasta meal, Definitely try this. Mm. I definitely promise you, you will not be disappointed. Okay, so with that, we're saying goodbye. We'll see you next week. I want to keep eating. Enjoy. Mm, fantastic. <laughs>